Well, hello everybody. I've been working hard with my awesome beta testers who have been going over Arcadian and discovering any bugs, which surprisingly or not surprisingly, there have been very few, if any, bugs. But mostly it's more about gameplay and we're tweaking the gameplay to make the game a lot more exciting. So what I have done, or what we have done based on my beta testers, is we made some minor changes to how the actual gameplay goes in here. Not much of a change, but just, just the game mechanics a little bit. And I think the game is now awesome. So, what I'm going to do is I wanted to show you what it, we did. I'm going to go walk in the park. Well, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go walk in the park. And I'm just going to do practice mode, attack of the drones for now. And then we'll do other ones. But I just want to show you. Notice how things shoot differently now? You now have a nice fire pattern. It's a lot more exciting. There's no more trying to get under and aim it. Now you're just fight your way through the enemies. So that's pretty awesome. The game goes a lot easier now. Now I'm going to exit back out and I'm just going to start it over again. Because I want to go into the clone. I'm going to go against the clone king and show you how that works now. So now it's a little easier to fight him. And we have an indicator above the top, which may change, but the indicator tells you how much damage he has taken. On the off chance that you have a hard time seeing the colors on his face, if you're colorblind or you're using black and white screen or something like that. So, so now we've made some changes. And technically, you could sit over here and shoot at him. See that? Oh. Actually, I just I just discovered. Uh, something I got to do for. Let's see that. See that? Yeah, it gets to a gap there. I'm gonna have to fix that. Let me make a little notation to myself to fix the left laser goes through gap. These are the things my beta testers also notice for me, which makes it great to have beta testers. They do things, they discover things. So, let's exit out. And we're gonna do it one more time. I'm just gonna go into the save the city mode. Yeah, it, it makes it a lot with the spread pattern of the laser now. It makes it not only a little easier, you're not chasing the enemies trying to shoot them, but it makes it a little bit more exciting. I mean, you can be like me and be a button masher now and just hold on to the fire button and keep shooting. You get higher scores too, the score goes up now. I gotta get to Heather Station and get some upgrades. Hopefully. Ooh. Don't kill me. See, I got a free ship down there. I heard that noise go boo! Let me know I got a new ship, and I probably get killed. We're going to put an indicator telling you how far you have to go before you get to the station. I'm just trying to determine how I can put that in there, where I want to put it. I made it. Heather Station, load me up with some cargo. Oh, that's right, they don't upgrade me on first pass. That sucks. I forgot about that one. 
You gotta go twice to get upgraded. <laughs> I may end up changing that. So there we go. Wanted to give you an idea of what it's doing. And now I'm just gonna let it die. I'm gonna get, I wanna die so you can see the Let's see the ending again. Come kill me, come kill me! Come come get me, thank you. Kill me! Boom! Oh I ended up getting a free ship there, so that's why I was taking for longer to die. Almost there. Almost there. I'm not happy no more. I need to die. Come on, couple more hits. Come on, one more. There we go. And I died. So there we go. Have a great one.